Now you see, that's my knife here. Yeah? I just carry it for safety purposes. Anybody tries to attack me, <laughs> that's it. My parents don't know that I'm driving taxi. Honestly, they don't know. Because I don't like telling them that I'm driving taxi. Because in fact, they're expecting me to find a job, sir. This is my house. This is where I reside. Uh, usually I used to drive taxi during the day, sometimes in the night. So now it's, the, it's in the morning, so I go and start a new day driving taxi around the city. Before I go out, I'd love to go and see one bitter nut and light a cigarette and start the day now. <laughs> okay. This one is the bitter nut. They cut it in the middle because there's no enough supply in the cities. Uh, it's refreshing. <laughs> it's like it opens our eyes. And you see my teeth here? Yeah? I didn't brush my teeth so almost one week. It's already red now. <laughs> okay. All right. Begin the day now. He resides here, so he's trying to catch a cab, so I'll drop him off. Yeah, I'm lucky. I have a customer very early in the morning. <laughs> when I chew bit of that, it opens my eyes and it clears the brain. It's sort of a drug. Once you're addicted, you cannot, you cannot stay without chewing bit of that. In the night, we have all those little thieves around them. Sometimes they try to rob us. Now you see, that's my knife here. Yeah? I just carry it for safety purposes. This one here. Yeah. Anybody tries to attack me, <laughs> and that's it. So now we are driving towards Anwabara village. Right? We have a little bit of checkpoint there. They are standing there now. Most of them, they have attitude problems. Because it's their village, they think they are some kind of boss men here. In real life, they, we can beat them up. And... What's special about this village? It's built on top of the sea, you see? The sea is right under the house. They are building their village on top of the sea. And another thing, they have so many beautiful girls around here. So. <laughs> People come here to, you know, find those beautiful girls and take them out. Come drop them off in the morning and all this. <laughs> okay, bright price. We'll have to pay for the girls' family and the tribes of the girls. This one is a betel nut market here now, the main betel nut market. Everywhere they are selling betel nut. Yeah, that's betel nut stain. You see this betel nut stain. That's the disadvantage of betel nut here. Yeah. In Papua New Guinea, there is no meter reading in taxi. When you jump on the truck, you can be charged with any, am any amount. Us, we pay $5 or 5 kina. You, you pay $50. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is coming closer, you see. Bayern, Bayern, Bayern Munya. That's, that's my favorite club. Thomas Mula, that's my superstar. He's old man, but you know, he smoke goals. 30 plus age, but you know, he plays like a 16 year old in the pitch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we call this police market. Once they see a police car come, we will see them pegging their products there and they will run. <laughs> yeah, it's a very busy market. We have so many steel money, and that's why I have to bring my knife out, just in case somebody wants to touch us. <laughs> Oh, morning, morning. Uh, 15, 15 petrol, yeah. Mm. At the moment, it's tricking a 51 to, uh, per liter. The main sport here in PNC is uh, rugby, rugby league. I played once, but uh, I almost got uh, injuries. <laughs> I gave up there. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, for security purposes. They have all this bus, because anytime we have street fights here and all this stuff here, so people might rush in and break all this. Okay, that's a uh, local. Papua New Guinea lunch. <laughs> when you took bitter nuts, you will forget about eating. You will stay there all day. <laughs> mm. 
we go to one of those bus stops there. They are very funny, some of them. Bus crews, they will be shouting, calling the location. Service. Yeah. He's an illegal, illegal driver. <laughs> Once a police gets him, they will beat him up. So. <laughs> one bus ride, it's normally it's one kina. But for some, some ride, we pay two kina. For example, from Tony up here, the freeway. Because it's an illegal route, so they charge two kina. If the police gets them, okay, they give some money to the police. Okay, that's the end of my shift then. I'll give the car to the other driver to go out there. Now uh, it's already time, so my shift ends here. Yeah. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>